I am Ranger Curtis. I'm the lead here for visitor programs to include education and volunteers. And we are in Dry Tortugas National Park right now atop of Fort Jefferson. Well, this place was founded back in 1513 by Ponce de Leon, and it was named Las Tortugas. So you're gonna be able to get that feeling of what it felt like to be in a 19th century fort, what it looked like back then. There's over 2,000 arches here. You're gonna see a moat that goes all the way around the fort. It's about 70 foot wide. This place is very unique and very special to many different people. So we have all kinds of amazing birds on Hospital Key just to my right. We have one of the only colonies of mass booby birds, but it's really that mix and that blend. So we're standing on top of a 19th century fort, the most ambitious fort that was ever designed by the US. So they came out with this three tier fort system that could basically have cannons on each level. This fort could hold over 420 cannons a hundred of which could fire at a single target at one time. I really enjoy going up on the second tier. There you're gonna see areas that used to be prisons. You're gonna go up that spiral staircase, then you get to the top and you're gonna be able to see a vista such as behind me with Garden Key. 99% of the park is a marine park. So when you go under the water, we have certain corals functionally been labeled as extinct, yet we have three to five colonies of it that are thriving out in the dry tortugas. So it's really a unique nexus of ocean currents and cultural history. Loggerhead Key has many stories. It has our highest density of turtle nesting. If we go back to the early 1900s, the Carnegie Institute was started there, which is one of the first tropical marine labs. It's also where the first underwater photograph was taken. So there's all kinds of really great scientific research. So we have two authorized concessions. We have the Yankee Freedom. And we also have Key West Seaplane Adventures. Those are the most popular. You can also apply and come out on a seaplane with a special permit. You know what I would say is that if you want to come and you want to check it off, it's a bucket list item. Absolutely, you can come out on the seaplane, you can come out on the Yankee Freedom. If you really want to get a feel for the dry tortugas, then come and spend the night with us. And as soon as everyone else leaves, you are out on a remote island by yourself. It's really amazing to work someplace and still get a sense of wow.